What's up guys, AB here, and today we have our hands on Shure's MV88 Plus Digital Stereo Condenser Microphone. A portable and professional audio recording solution for those of you who capture content with your mobile devices. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe if you haven't already. The MV88 Plus features two microphone capsules situated in a mid-side configuration, providing you with the ability to capture audio in multiple stereo images. There are actually five DSP preset modes for customizable recording, based on the audio source, which is a feature not found on most portable microphones. What's more, the MV88 Plus comes in a kit, giving you all the accessories you'd need for a variety of recording situations. Check it out. You get Manfrotto's popular Pixie tripod, a phone clamp and shoe mount mic kit, USB-C and lightning cables, and a compact neoprene carry pouch that keeps the mic and accessories protected. It's also worth noting that the mic itself is made of metal, and you can tell that it's really solidly built. As you may or may not know, the MV88 Plus is an update to the previous and popular MV88 model. And beyond the ability to adjust the mic's stereo image, which we'll showcase later, you have access to a host of features that assist in capturing high-quality audio, like 24-bit, 48K recording, a built-in headphone output for real-time monitoring, compatibility with Filmic Pro, integration with Shure's Motive Audio app for pro-level recording, and Motive Video app for greater on-screen control, and the ability to charge your phone while the camera is in use. This charging feature only works with an iPhone that is paired with Apple's USB 3 camera adapter. So while we're on the subject of compatibility, the MV88 Plus works with iPhones and most Android devices. However, when using an Android phone, you are required to use the Shure Motive Video app to operate the camera, while iPhones give you the option of also using Apple's built-in video recorder. To make certain that your Android device is compatible, Shure maintains an updated list on its site, specifically detailing which Android phones work fluidly with the MV88 Plus. Whichever platform you're using, the true power of the mic is accessed via the Shure Motive app, which lets you control an impressive number of parameters. Look at the Mic Setup page, for example. There are over a dozen functions, and that includes sub-functions, from mic gain to stereo width to EQ to compression, that you can manipulate to get your setup just right. Conveniently, there are also preset modes that tailor the mic to specific recording applications. And I'm talking about speech, singing, flat, acoustic, and loud, each of which adjusts the stereo width to best accommodate that particular application. There's even a figure eight pattern, which lets two people use the mic simultaneously. Of course, you can choose whichever preset you'd like, but I think that they are a good starting point for whatever you're recording. Of course, the best way to check out the effectiveness of this mic is to hear it. So we decided to head to Grand Central Terminal and film a few different scenes utilizing various recording settings on the mic. We also wanted to record with the phone's built-in mic and compare it with the MV88 Plus to get a sense of just how much more effective audio capture is when using the Shure. Let's take a look at that now. All right, guys, here we are at Grand Central. Uh, it's a little busy, nothing crazy, though, because during rush hour, we've got over half a million people coming through this place all day. So I'm glad we're not dealing with that. But we are here to uh, capture some content. Obviously, I'm recording myself with the MV88 and my iPhone XS. I have an Encardioid mode that's facing me. Got a little bit of a compressor on it and a little roll off at about 80 hertz. It's a built-in high pass filter. Other than that, no other processing. And I'm wearing earbuds. Normally when I'm doing real audio work, I wouldn't wear earbuds, but I think just for the compatibility in terms of just being portable and what a lot of people are probably gonna use if they vlog, uh, this is something that you would see on other people recording themselves or vlogging or what have you. So what we're doing here is, because Grand Central is such a big place and has so much stuff going on, it's the kind of place where if you were recording content, you could basically find a whole lot of stuff to record and you would want to record that in different ways. So for example, I'm recording myself, so I'm using a cardioid pattern with a mic facing me. But suppose I wanted to capture the ambience of the place. If I were making a film and I needed something that sounded like a train terminal, or I just needed this as a background noise, I would want to record that with a mic. Now, the beauty of the MV88 Plus is that since it has multiple polar patterns and allows you to sort of you know, adjust the stereo width, you, you can really get a different recording or a different sound from the same perspective just by changing the width of the mic. So why don't we do this? Why don't we record something using the phone's built-in mic and then we'll record the same scene or at least from the same perspective and adjust the stereo width of the MV88 Plus to see what kind of a difference that gives us and how much more professional uh, it sounds.
As you can see, Shure's MV88 Plus is a versatile mic that packs professional sound in a very small form factor. Whether you're a vlogger, videographer, mobile journalist, or any other content creator who likes to record while on the move, this is definitely a piece of gear you should check out. Thanks again for watching, and see you next time.